Hello everybody, it's John here. And a few days ago, I got into my top bar hive, the A-Hive, for a 30-day checkup after the swarm. And I forgot to mention one very important thing that I noticed as I went through the hive. And it all has to do with this. I've been watching a guy named Earl on YouTube, Hillbilly Beekeeping, and he shared with us that his mentor told him about peppermint and hive beetles. And what happened was when I was in my hives early in the spring, that my A hive already had hive beetles when I first opened it up the first time. And I noticed that, uh, you know, usually I don't have that problem until maybe uh, August, September. And I thought it was strange that they, that they must have overwintered okay. And uh, I got to watch an Earl and he mentioned peppermints, putting them into the hives to deter hive beetles. So I thought, what the heck, I'll give it a try. And in my top A hive there, I crunched up two peppermints. I put one at each end. Let me show you the hive and I'll explain what I did. Here in the A hive, the entrance is of course in the center. So what I have is a divider board on each side and as I, the hive grows, I spread it out, and as it shrinks during the winter time, I close it back together. So what I did, I, w I crushed a peppermint and put it by each divider board. It's not like a Langstroth hive uh, where Earl was setting the peppermints, crushing them and putting them on top of the frames. Uh, here in the top bar hive, the only place I had to put them was on the floor uh, by the divider boards, and that's usually where I see more hive beetles anyway. Uh, the bees seem to chase them and keep them towards the outer edges of the hives or towards the honey end of the hives. So I put, uh, in this hive, I put one at each end. I opened it up maybe a few weeks later and I put another one, crushed one and put it at each end. And when I opened it up here again for the 30 day checkup, I saw no hive beetles. And this hive is completely full almost of honey and nectar. Uh, and I, I just was amazed, and I have to say that the peppermints must do something, because I've once I've had hive beetles, I've never seen it where they were completely gone, and they were in this hive. So what I did, uh, I ended up going ahead then, and over here in my other top bar hive, my beehive there, uh, when I was in it the other day too, I crushed up a couple peppermints, and that one only has one divider board at the far end, so I put some there, and for the heck of it, the last time I was in my two uh, hives, these are new hives this year, and have two new swarms in them, and there were no signs of hive beetles uh, when I installed them or uh, when I've checked on them. Uh, but for the heck of it, I went ahead and the, the Layens hives have one divider board away from the entrance. So I also crunched up a couple and put by each divider board in both of the the new lands hives so it will be interesting to see what happens to them i just wanted to give a shout out to earl because if this works for people uh it's a pretty simple way to maybe take care of hive beetles and i think maybe he even mentions it may be helpful for varroa mites you'll have to check out his youtube site and see what he says again that is earl at hillbilly beekeeping thanks again for watching as always the new bee yard is, seems to be doing very well this year. And as always, God bless.